my boyfriend in the bonds room. And it got leaked. It got leaked. And I screenshot it and I said, Andy, now it's all over all over YouTube. Well, I don't know what happened. I didn't tell anyone. So I went all over. Did you call CPS on her? On Andy? No. No. No, no, no. Andy is not allowed to see her ranch out because of smoking crack. I have screenshots. You pay extra for that. Well, I don't know. Maybe my family had a little more money than other people's family. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe my family, that's how my family planned it. I don't know. You pay extra for it? Well, I guess my family paid extra. Her grandbaby is one of my business. Oh, her grandbaby is when she calls me bawling her fucking eyes up. Fuck you. I'll grant with Andy. That all has to be arranged for the funeral. Okay, well, it was arranged. Y'all are telling me they come home in a box or a bag, and I'm telling you, no, they didn't. My grandfather didn't. Neither did my Uncle Mike. You want me to go get his little mini arm, too? It's really cool. She's extremely lucky she doesn't have funerals work. I do know how funerals work. My Uncle Mike was cremated, and I have the same little mini arm that's platinum. I Apparently, you don't know how funerals work, because I do. Because I have my grandfather's ashes, and I have my Uncle Mike, my parent, and my godfather's ashes. Maybe you don't know how funerals work, and I do, and maybe you just don't have the type of funerals that my family has. Is your boyfriend a drunk, too? Oh, you're so funny. Oh, no. No, Andy, fuck you. Everything's coming up. Since you decided you wanted to give YouTube all of my business that you said you were going to keep confidential, let's talk about all your business, too, honey. Honey, honey. So, when I got my D line, I said, Andy, I need to go live by this before it hits anywhere else. I, I need to go live. I need to tell everybody what happened, that I was in a rental, that my boyfriend and I were messing with the headlights because it was fucking storming down raining Tuesday. I went for lunch Wednesday. Um, he had to go drop the check off to somebody when it's dinner. I was coming home. I'm like, Andy, I need to go live about this before it gets anywhere else. I need to go live. No, Michelle. No, Michelle. Keep it yourself. Keep it yourself. No, Andy, I need to go live about this before it hits any social media, before anything. Right? I'm ignoring my chat because I like totally talking about this, right? No, don't say a word, Michelle. Don't say a word. Keep it to yourself. So, 1 o'clock in the afternoon, boom. Somebody says something in my comments on my rumble. Motherfucker. So, I text Andy. And I'm like, okay, it's out. You said something. I didn't say anything. The only person I talked to was Clipper. And I've been so busy with Thanksgiving. And I don't care how busy you were, bitch. I didn't even tell Airbrush Artist. I didn't even tell Ocean Breeze. And I didn't even tell Mom. No one fucking knew anything. When I got released at 10.30 in the morning on Thanksgiving Day, I wished all of my mugs happy Thanksgiving. And I said nothing. I texted Ocean Breeze. And I said, hey, when you get done with your like family dinner stuff, give me a call. I need to talk to you. I said the same thing to Airbrush Artist. I didn't even say anything to Mom. I just said, Happy Thanksgiving. And that's it. I didn't fucking say a word to anyone. I planned on addressing everything Friday with my mods. I didn't want to ruin their Thanksgiving. I didn't say a motherfucking word to anyone. No one except her. My boyfriend doesn't even know about YouTube, much less the drama community. Like, he might look up, I don't know, something like truck parts or like some DUI thing or DYI thing, whatever. But that's it. And why the fuck would my bondsman be getting in touch with you motherfuckers, right? He wouldn't. It was Andy. It was Andy that posted the shit about me getting a DUI. So, Friday, I go to log on to Amazon A to Z, and my schedule's gone. I'm calling Andy. And I'm like, who am I blocking? Who am I blocking? How do you refill your alcohol and cigs? You can't drive. Oh, let's block you. Um, my boyfriend brings them to me. Isn't that amazing? You know, ATN didn't know anything. That's the whole thing. ATN didn't know anything. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Um, so, my son died of said you fucking cunt. So, if you said somebody works at the courthouse, I got arrested on Wednesday. Thursday was Thanksgiving. And Friday, all courthouse people are, um, they were off. So, no one was working. Who would you want to slap? ATN didn't know anything. As a matter of fact, who do you want to slap? I'll eyes on you. Um, what do you mean I can't pay on Do you want to see the receipt that I paid my light bill? It's actually only $248 a month and not $610 as ATN claimed. Um, I actually just paid my light bill yesterday. Would you like to see my receipt? I just paid it yesterday. Beezer is off of work. I got arrested on Thanksgiving. Nothing is processed. Nothing is processed. I got out 10, 20 in the morning on Thanksgiving Day. Nothing was processed. And all four employees were off on Friday. It was only Andy. It was 100% only Andy that did this. And after that, right before that information was leaked, I called. I was like, they took me off the Amazon schedule. And I called, like, the 
staff hired an HR. I'm like, why the fuck am I pulled off the schedule? And they're like, well, we sent you a termination letter and you can appeal it, but you have to wait till you get your termination letter first. I'm like, okay, when am I going to get it? And they're like, today. In other words, it was mailed out on Friday. So 100%. Yeah, these were support us. I know exactly where she works. So 100%, it was Andy. Because she leaked out the DUI and then she leaked out about me totally my deep and she leaked out about Amazon. No one knew. It was leaked out before my boyfriend knew about Amazon. It was 100% Andy. So Andy, since you want to leak out on my, my personal shit, let's leak out that you can't see your granddaughter fly. Smoking crack. Um, what about the two five hundred dollar cash apps that you sent to Ski Mask Andy? Is Ski Mask Andy gonna pay you those thousand that thousand dollars back? Is he? And by the way, about who coming to visit me? I never said I make seventeen thousand a week. I never said I make seventeen thousand dollars a week. He did have arrangements made. As he was gone, I said he had previous plans. And I'm not going to tell you what his previous plans are, but I didn't feel comfortable with his previous plans. And that's none of your business. I said he had previous plans. I did not think he was gone. I said he had previous plans and I did not feel comfortable. And that's none of your fucking business on why I chose not to spend Thanksgiving with him. Why don't you be honest all the time with Andy and tell everyone that you had to go to treatment because you were smoking crack, right? Why don't you be honest and tell everyone that your granddaughter's other grandmother has custody of your grandchild because your whole fucking family smokes crack? Why don't you be honest and say that I'm a complete witness that your husband Chuck is a complete, absolute fucking mean ass drunk and fucking screams at your nine year old like she is a piece of shit. Screams and mentally abuses her constantly and mentally abuses you. And I've got a screenshot saying that you're going to leave him in six years when your daughter's old enough. And that you just cashed in all of your 401k. That's why you sent me 300. You're spending your 401k like it's fucking quack. You're giving away to everyone. You sent ski two $500 cash apps because you just need to be wanted. Like, or you want to be needed. So you're throwing your money away like crazy. Tragic, you're in my life, right? Tragic, you're in my life. She sent you a $50 cash app a couple days before she sent me the $300 cash app. And she tells me what a piece of shit you are, what a motherfucker you are, that she can't stand you, that she's glad your son died, that she knows your son was a fucking drug addict. No, I, how would I know this if I didn't know that she sent you a $50 cash app a few days before she sent me the $300 cash app tragic? How would I know that? How would I know that she sent you a $50 cash app a couple days before she sent me 300 How would I know that tragic? She talks shit about every single person behind every single person's back. She is like the biggest piece of shit on YouTube. Literally. She told me that Lucy called, she's so fucked up, that she told me Lucy called her, like, I don't know, and she had Lucy's last name, and she's gonna give me Lucy's last name, like, legit, like, legit, like, she's like, Lucy called me, and I'm gonna give you Lucy's last name, let me look through my phone, and then she's like, oh, I don't have it, oh, I have it, and so that's how I started kind of thinking she was my mole, and she's like, when she's like, I'm afraid she's gonna dox me, blah, 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 okay, fuck you. Now, she also... She also told me she was going to kill me tonight. Want to see? She told me she was going to kill me tonight. My friend. But I did not ever invite her to come stay with me, so let's get back to it. This is how that went. Because she gets fucking drunk, lit drunk every fucking night. Every fucking night. Her and her husband get shit-faced drunk in front of their nine-year-old kid. Um, one thing about me, because I volunteer for the Humane Society, is I'm all about spay and neuter. All about spay and neuter. So her cat had kittens, right? And she's like, I don't know what I'm doing with these kittens. I don't know what I'm doing with these kittens. I'm like, you need to spay your fucking cat. Now. Well, they won't spay the cat and they won't spay these kittens until they're X amount of days old. Okay, you need to separate them. So now the cat that was pregnant is pregnant again and now the kittens are fucking pregnant. She is part of the pet population why there's so many cats that can't get adopted. Fuck you, Andy, and I told you and I called you out. So now the mom cat's pregnant and now all the kittens are pregnant. So she's going to have like 350 fucking cats within the next couple months. And I'm like, go take the kittens to get them fixed and they will give the kids abortions when they fix them. And she's making excuses on why not to get these kittens like fixed and have them aborted. Because I know, because I used to volunteer for the Humane Society, Lucy, by the way, that when you get a cat fixed, even if it's pregnant, they will abort the kittens. And she's like, I can't do that. So what are you doing? You're dumping more fucking kittens on the Humane Society to try to adopt out more kittens, right? And cats are very, very hard to adopt. Dogs are much easier. Kittens are very fucking hard, very hard. And she refuses to fix the cats. And she's like, well, they're anti-cats. I mean, I don't need to get them fixed, bitch. You keep saying your cats get out. She has like 30 cats that are turned to like 60 cats that are now going to turn into 350 cats. Lucy, talk to your friend that's gossiping on me because she refuses to fix her cats. And in a period of six weeks, she now has a cat that got re-pregnant and now kittens that are pregnant with kittens. Literally in like six weeks, you know the birthing process of cats. Talk to her. 
talk to Andy. Tell her what an irresponsible pet owner she is. Literally talk to her. Someone needs to talk to her about irresponsible. I did not call CPS on her, but um, CPS was called on her granddaughter because of crack smoking, and she can't see her granddaughter. And she cried to me all Thanksgiving, all the next day, that she finally got to sneak a FaceTime call in with her granddaughter, and that she can only possibly sneak FaceTime visits in, but she's not allowed to see her granddaughter. And it's because of crack smoking, and I'm sure it's because of alcohol in her house. You should hear how her husband talks to the nine-year-old, like, screaming and screaming and yelling and telling her she's a piece of shit and that she's trash. Fuck you, Andy. I'm sorry. You wanted to you wanted to go personal on me? Fuck you. Have I called CPS? No. Should CPS look into you? Yeah, because you're not allowed to see your granddaughter, but you have your nine-year-old in your house with your alcoholic husband speaking to you and your daughter the way he does? Yeah. And you want to come at me for not having my kids? I've never, ever spoken to anyone, not even my haters, the way that he speaks to your daughter. Never. Never. Now. Let's get to your little threats, bitch. Let's get to your little threats, bitch. Go fuck yourself. Here we go. Andy. All fine with Andy. Okay. One more thing. Do not mess with me. I am capable of a lot of things, and my family is connected to police nationwide. I promise you, it would be a bad idea. I know what happened in the Jeep. I also know you were hammered the next morning. Then that is when I decided to tell you it wasn't a good idea to come. I already had canceled you out, and I'm already canceled from the 60 bucks I paid for tickets to do something fun. Okay. Here's the text. Right. Okay. Here's the text. Okay. Keep my name out of your lying mouth. You talk to everyone, big mouth. You're your own worst nightmare. Okay, she's drunk, obviously. She wrote... 250 loan better be repaid. It's in writing. You accepted the money with a loan note. 12 3. I'm celebrating in New York City. It's going to be a great December. And I wrote, Andy, go fuck yourself. Everyone's going to know all about you at 3 30. You're blocked as a mod, and my mods are pissed as fuck as you. Okay. Go take me to Small Claims Court up north, you asshole. Look at what you've done to me, you fucking drunk crackhead. I've never smoked crack, but you were in treatment for it. Your entire family is a shit show, and you want to spread my personal business? Go fuck yourself. Um, I'm telling you everything, including how to talk curses at your nine-year-old. No wonder why CPS won't let you see your granddaughter. Be lucky you have custody of your own daughter. Go ahead and piss me off more. I'm a witness to spousal abuse and child abuse, and I don't do drugs. I said... You're fucking mental. You're a mental case, a drunk, and a very needy person that thinks so. That thinks if someone is not on the phone with you for seven fucking hours a day, they're betraying you. You were. This is true. You were going to call your own son's PO because he took a few days to get away from you when he got out of jail. That's what a sick fuck you are. So guys, your son was just released from prison. Legit, he was just released from prison, and he spent like four days. It was like four days before he went home to his mother. He spent time going to see his daughter with his ex, right? And Andy's convinced that his, the mother of his child is on crack. Convinced that the mother of his child is on crack. She's convinced, right? But when her son got out of jail, he went and spent a few days with his daughter. And now with Andy first. So Andy was going to call his PO and tell the PO to go piss test him to have him thrown in jail for like another month because the son did not go straight to Andy's house. And that's what a stellar mother she is. That's what a stellar mom Andy is. The son did not leave straight from jail and go straight to Andy's house, right? So she was going to call his PO on him and try to have him pick back up. Because she thought he was doing drugs because he'd not go straight to Andy's. And she's like, I've been putting money on his books for all this time. And he's not going to come straight to my house. Well, fuck him. I'm going to call his PO and I'm going to have him picked up and I'm going to have him piss tested and have him thrown back in jail. You're a stellar mother, Andy. You're a stellar mother. You should be so proud of yourself. You literally should be so fucking proud of yourself that you were going to do that. Because I'm reading text. And that's exactly what you were going to do to your son. You should be so fucking proud of yourself, right? Joseph should be so fucking proud of you. I hope he's watching this live, right? Like... Right? You're a sick fuck because your son did not leave jail and immediately go home to you because he wanted to see his daughter first. You were going to call his PO. You were, you were going to call his PO on him and have him pick back up because he didn't come straight to your house because you were putting money in his books because his daughter was more important to you and you were not allowed to see his daughter because the other grandparent that has custodial rights thinks that you're a danger to the granddaughter. Like the other grandparent that has custodial rights thinks that you're a danger to the granddaughter. Right? Maybe it's the way that you and Chuck drink. Maybe it's that you and Chuck grow pots. Maybe it's all the edibles that you make, that you told me that you make, like the chocolate bars that you're going to mail to my house before you fly in. You know, that you invited yourself to my house for eight fucking days without me even realizing what you're doing when you booked the trip. Maybe that's it. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe that's it. 
And then, Andy, right, I'm blowing up so I can see it. You got lucky. I don't share your secrets. None of what I know will ever be told. And that's a fact. Liar. Liar. Because no one knew what was spelled. It, I take secrets seriously and also do conversations. Do you, Andy? Lying bitch. So anything I know goes to the grave with me, does it? Because no one knew about my DUI except for you and my boyfriend and the bondsman. So, so um, I won't mention you on my YouTube, but so help me God, if you fucking dox me, it's bad enough you accuse me. Oh, okay, hold on. You're dead. Ah. You are dead. Andy, did you start my fucking life? I think you did. I think you fucking said you are dead. You told me that I'm dead. I think you just started me, and we all know that you're the one that doubts me. We all 100% know that you are the one that doubts me. 100%. Because I told no one about my DUI. I told no one about my DUI to my boyfriend, my bondsman. So we know that you are the one that fucking doubts me. And then you said I'm dead. Did you? You said I'm dead. Am I? Did you legit threaten to kill me? Did you say it in a text and now everyone, all 690 people watching me, right? Yeah, you just told me that you're going to kill me. Did you? I'm sorry, did you tell all 690 people that are watching me that you're going to kill me? Hmm. All crimes with Andy? Did you just say you were going to kill me? So, one, you told everybody about my DUI because no one knew. Like, no one knew. So when it showed up on my Rumble, no one knew except my boyfriend and the bondsman, except you. No one knew. No one knew. And then on Bomb's channel, when it said I got fired, no one knew but you. I hadn't even told my boyfriend yet. You're the only person that knew. You are the only person that knew. The only person. So there's my mole. And you got fucking drunk on the phone, like, Lucy tried to call me. Yeah, I got her personal last name, I'll give it to you. And then when I asked for it, you're like, I don't see it on my phone anymore. No, because you got busted. So there's my mole. Andy was my mole the whole time. You threatened someone's life also? Well, you know what? And that person drove me to fucking Kansas City Court, right? So guess what? See you later, alligator. I'll see you in Georgia. I'll see you in Georgia. Straight up. You straight up texted me and said that you're going to kill me. Right? Apparently, that text was sent to a bot. And it was supposedly from me. No, you texted me and you threatened me several times and then you said I'm dead. Right? And everyone knows that you're the person that said I got my UI. You're the one that said I totaled my G. Um, did I get drunk the next day? I sure fucking did. I sure fucking did. I called Progressive on Monday. I put my fucking claim in and I got shit face drunk that afternoon and I went to bed. I did. Oh my God. Oh my God. I went through Sunday with work and then I totaled my Jeep on Sunday. Right? I called Progressive. And I started drinking and I fucking passed out. Probably around like 2 o'clock in the afternoon. I did. I did. I got drunk at home and I passed out. I did. Oh my God. You know what I did the next day? I did. I got drunk. I got drunk. Um, I went to court on Tuesday with ATN. It was Thursday. That was the 17th, which was the birthday of my son that died. Also the same day he shares with my son's best friend that was given a hot shot and overdosed and died on the 17th. Um, Jim died on Thursday. Then Sunday, my fucking Jeep and work. You're damn right. I called my fucking insurance company. I filed a claim. They didn't have a car for me. I fucking got pissed and shit is drunk and I went to sleep. So do you know what happened the next day? Guess what? Now the whole world knows. Now the whole world knows it. I was like, fuck this shit. And I got pissed ass drunk and I went to bed. Oh my God.